Hello there and welcome to the latest episode of TSA TV News Desk, bringing you all the latest news from the world of gaming for the week ending December 1st, 2013. Following on from the Xbox One release last week, this week saw the UK and European release of the PlayStation 4, so there wasn't much in the way of new announcements, not that anyone told Atlas who revealed three new games in the Persona franchise. Persona 5 is due on PS3 in Japan in winter 2014, while 3DS RPG Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth is due around the same time, and Vita rhythm game Persona 4 Dancing All Night is due this coming autumn. Also new is the How the Saints Saved Christmas DLC for Saints Row 4 due on December 11th. Elsewhere, GTA San Andreas is the latest game in the series to come to mobile devices due in December with support for controllers on both iOS and Android, while Warner Brothers has officially confirmed the Lego Hobbit game leaked last week, due next spring for last-gen, current-gen PC and portables. In the news, Activision has confirmed that it still holds the rights to the Crash Bandicoot franchise, following speculation that they had been sold to Sony, while EA has confirmed that it will no longer produce games in the FIFA Manager series. Also dead is Ashes Cricket 2013, which is officially cancelled after months of delays and even a brief appearance on Steam, while streaming service Twitch has opted to remove all listings from pre-installed PS4 game The Playroom following misuse. Retailer Game has announced it will be opening 12 new stores this Christmas, 4 permanent and 8 temporary while Sony Europe's Jim Ryan has told an interviewer that the responsibility for how long and what games children play is down to parents, not console makers. Audio extracted from the recent Beach Bum update for GTA V has suggested that new content may be on the way, including access to a casino and indoor dirt bike track, as well as new spying missions. And Sony Pictures has registered a domain for a big screen adaptation of The Last of Us. Finally, NBA Live 14 is to get a series of significant updates following poor critical reception. Vita's Killzone Mercenary is getting bot support and two new maps in an update due next year, and Blacklight Retribution and Flow have both dropped out of the PS4's launch lineup at the last moment, and are now due on PSN in the near future. Chart time and FIFA 14 is back to number one, helped in no small part by the debut of a console bundle with the newly released Xbox One. The One itself managed to double first week sales of the Xbox 360, managing to shift 150,000 units in 48 hours in the UK, putting it barely behind lifetime sales of the Wii U here. Call of Duty Ghosts drops 1 to number 2, while Battlefield 4 is up 2 to number 3. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag holds steady at number 4, while Xbox One exclusive Forza Motorsport 5 is a new entry at 5. 10 of the Xbox One's 16 launch titles managed a spot in the top 40, with Dead Rising 3 arriving at number 7 and Rise Son of Rome at number 10. Away from Xbox, The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds enters the chart at number 8, while Need for Speed Rivals only manages a surprisingly low number 13, and Vita exclusive Tearaway arrives at number 26. Just the last couple of bits and bobs to round out the show this week. New Borderlands 2 DLC is now available, as is December's European PlayStation Plus content, including Resogun on PS4, Grid 2 on PS3, and Sonic Racing Transformed on Vita. Also on Vita, the free patch for Rayman Legends adding the missing invasion levels is now live, while Sony is giving away two free PlayStation Mobile games a week until December 18th, starting with Rimmed Capsule and Passing Time. On PS4, a new patch is available for Killzone Shadowfall, adding a control option for left-handed players. And don't be afraid if the What's New page on your new console appears to not be working. Sony has temporarily disabled some lesser PSN features to ensure a more stable launch weekend for the console. That's it for this week's show, but you can find more on all the week's stories over at thesixthaxis.com, and why not give us a like on Facebook or even a follow on Twitter to keep up to date with the news as it happens. We'll be back next week with more News Desk, but until then... Thanks for watching.